All right, all right. It's that time again. Thursday, pre-Friday as I like to call it. And that means we're throwing it back to an older blog post while you guys watch me go through a little bit of some training. So, this blog post is called Keep Showing Up. When things get tough, the tough show up. That's how the saying goes, right? Now, I'm not going to lie. This is where I'm at right now. I'm just showing up to the gym, not setting any records and not beating myself to a pulp, even though I feel like hot garbage from too much time off. If this sounds like you too, get back on the horse with some tips on how to ease back into the gym after some time off. That was the last blog post I read. It's also up on the site if you want to check it out. The second I pass through the threshold of the gym doors, I'm getting arguably the hardest part of exercising out of the way, showing up. Today I wanted to talk briefly about why this is so important and why, no matter what, we need to keep showing up. You'll feel better all the way around. How do you feel when you skip the gym when you were steadfast on going? Probably a little mad at yourself, maybe a little sluggish, possibly a lingering feeling of being behind in your day. But let me lay out a scenario for you and as you read or listen, really think about putting yourself in the situation. It's 2 p.m. on a Wednesday, and your boss has been a total dick. You're seriously considering skipping the gym. Seems every other second you're polarizing between, I'm going, damn it, no days off, and Netflix and chill sounds nice right about now. Nothing is going according to plan, and time is running out. In a flurry, you decide to hop in your car and drive to the gym before your motivation wears off. Yawning your soul out after such a long day, you show up, but your heart just isn't in it. So you warm up, move around for a bit, and go home. You're in and out in 30 minutes. Now, do you imagine your mental state feeling better having gone to the gym even if you just walked on the treadmill for a bit and did some light stretching, or if you didn't go at all? I'm guessing you'll feel better about yourself having just been through the gym doors. If you missed my last blog post of something is better than nothing, you'll have a better sense of why even half-assing it is better than not at all. I always say use your whole ass if you can. That's one of the things showing up gives us right away. A little mental pat on the back for being where we're supposed to be. It's an immediate win. All you have to do is show up. Not only do you mentally feel better that you're staying on track with your fitness goals, but a little bit of low impact movement and a slightly elevated heart rate at the end of a long day behind a desk does the body good. You'll feel loosened up and it's a great chance to relieve all the stress your asshole boss Joe from accounting has dumped on you throughout the day. A regular tendency, especially one that is hard to give up. That is the definition of a habit. Smoking is a bad habit. I think we all can agree on that. Ritualistically stepping outside to puff on a death stick isn't good for our overall health. Those who smoked didn't smoke once and it was game over. There were more than likely many exposures to cigarettes over a period of time before a specific routine was solidified. That's how habits form doing something a number of times until it becomes a normal occurrence. What makes going to the gym any different? When we continue to show up regardless of what's happening to us in the moment, we're solidifying that habit of going to the gym. It is part of our routine. Do you get up and brush your teeth every morning? For the love of God, please say yes. It's part of your morning routine. Going to the gym and exercising should be another part of your day too. If you want to dial in that habit, you have to keep showing up. If you want to be that person where giving up exercise is hard, just keep getting there every single day. Hopefully you guys found something of use in this blog and in this video. At the very least, a little bit of entertainment. There are plenty of other reads for you and other videos for you to find useful tips and tricks. So go ahead and check them out. If you want to stay tuned for the next video and blog, make sure that you subscribe. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. TikTok, LinkedIn, we're on all of it. So I hope to see you guys when I see you. Thanks for the watch. Thanks for the read. And I will see you guys on the next one.